What's up guys, I'm Zach from Render Effects, and this is how to land and take off like a superhero in Final Cut Pro X. Let's get started. Filmed on a tripod, you will need two shots, one of you landing and one of you taking off. For the landing effect, get a shot of you jumping high into the air and landing in a strong stance as if you're a superhero. For the takeoff, get another shot of you crouching down as if you're building up power and then jump as high as you can as if you're a superhero blasting off into the air. You will also need a clean plate or a blank shot of your background. Make sure that you're filming with manual focus and exposure so that nothing changes between these shots. If you're filming on an iPhone, touch and hold the display to lock the exposure and focus. While filming, make sure to focus on your acting because good acting can help make an effect much more convincing. Now that you have all your shots, let's hop into Final Cut. Starting with the landing shot, drag the desired clips into the timeline and place the clean plate just before the landing shot. Now, trim the clip to the point where the subject is midway through falling, which should be just between the height of the jump and the landing. Add a freeze frame to the first frame of the shot, option F, apply draw mask, and cut out the subject. Trim the freeze frame down to two frames and place it on top of the clean plate. Now, go to transform and add a keyframe. Change the position of the subject so that they fall from the sky. Next, add the directional effect to the clip and match the direction and amount. Playing back the effect at this point, you'll notice that your subject does not have enough power while landing. In order to fix this, you have to remember that speed equals power. Go to the point where your subject is fully landed, press Shift B to add a speed cut, and speed up the first part to two times speed. Now, trim the gray part of the speed bar to get rid of the speed ramp after the landing. This speed cut ensures that the subject lands as powerfully as possible and make sure that the subject lands at a consistent speed. Now, go back to the point where the subject is fully landed, blade the clip, and then move 10 or so frames forward and blade the clip again. Add the earthquake effect to the newly bladed clip, add a keyframe to amount and epicenter, and turn the amount up to 20. Now go to the last frame of the clip and change the amount to zero. Go frame by frame and move the epicenter randomly around to a different position each frame. For the landing sound effects, use explosion and wind sound effects and reverse them to make it sound like the subject is coming closer to the camera. Then, when they land, add impact and hit sound effects along with a rumble to make the landing sound super powerful. Now, moving on to editing the takeoff, start by doing a similar process. Drag your desired take into the timeline and now place the clean plate after the clip instead of before. Now, trim the clip to the point where the subject is midway through jumping, which should be just between the takeoff and the height of the jump. Add a freeze frame to the last frame of the shot, apply draw mask, and cut out the subject. Trim the freeze frame down to two frames and place it on top of the clean plate. Click on transform and add a keyframe. Change the position of the subject so they shoot up into the sky. Add the directional effect to the clip and match the direction and amount. Now, go to the point where your subject is just about to take off. Press Shift B to add a speed cut and speed up the second part to two times speed. Trim the gray bar of the speed bar to get rid of the speed ramp before the takeoff. Now, go to the first frame of the clean plate and move forward 10 or so frames and blade the clip again. Add the earthquake effect to the newly bladed clip, add a keyframe to amount and epicenter, and turn the amount up to 20. Now go to the last frame of the clip and change the amount to zero. Go frame by frame and move the epicenter randomly around to a different position each frame. For the taking off sound effects, use the same explosion and wind sound effects as the landing, except this time at normal speed. Then add a rumble to make the takeoff sound even more powerful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more and follow us on our Instagram to be a part of choosing our next video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.